uh, I know I probably said this last year, but this year is the year of live streaming. If you've not yet started live streaming to your community on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube Live, well, you might be missing the boat. And I see no reason for you to miss the boat, especially not if you're on a Mac, because you can live stream using a terrific tool called Ecamm Live, which I'm gonna show you today on Dottotech. Steve Dotto here, how the heck you doing this fine day? Now today I wanna to spend some time talking about live streaming and this video could go on for a very, very long time because live streaming is a huge topic and there's so much potential in the world of live streaming. I mean, you can start out live streaming just with your smartphone. You can fire up a live streaming uh, in Facebook or in YouTube Live right there within the app and you can stream out to a community using the camera on your phone and the microphone on your phone and you can you can reach as many people as are willing to listen to you at any one time. It's a terrific way of doing things. But if you live stream with your phone and you're trying to build a community and trying to grow a community, you're really missing out on a lot of the a lot of the mechanisms that allow for real engagement and real value. When I look at what we can do with a live stream today, I am gobstopped because all of the things that we used to do when I did live TV and live radio, we can do now in a live stream format. And we can do it without all of the gear and all of the equipment and all of the cost and all of the licenses that used to be required in order to broadcast to a community. And when we just choose to live stream using the lowest common denominator, just using our phone, although it's very cool, and very accessible, we leave so much on the table as far as production values and, 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 and the intrinsic value that that creates to our community by doing it that way. So there are a variety of different tools, variety of different apps that you can install on your computer that will facilitate live streaming. And uh, the one that we're going to look at today is called Ecamm Live. It's a Mac only product. We'll put uh, links to similar products in the description uh, if you're a Windows user, uh, but this process works for either Mac or Windows. So it's well worth watching regardless if you are in one camp or the other. Now, a live streaming app is what we call them, but in reality, as looking at it as a, as a broadcast professional, these apps, these tools are really switchers. What's a switcher? A switcher is a tool, uh, a piece of software or a piece of hardware that takes a variety of different sources, video sources, a, a video camera, audio source, uh, graphics, a pre-recorded video. It pulls them all together and it determines which one gets broadcast into the live stream at any one time. So a tool like Ecamm Live, which I'm going to be showing you now, its real strength is the fact that it can allow me to choose different camera locations, bring guests on, people that are connected by Skype, and be able to have, include other people in the conversation, put graphics over top, and roll video into the broadcast just as though it was a real live broadcast. It is a real live broadcast, what am I saying? But just as though it was being done with a broadcast truck at the Super Bowl. It's the exact same concept. What they do at the Super Bowl, where they choose what source feeds out to your, your television set while you're watching, is no different than what I'm gonna show you how to do right now with live streaming software. How cool is that? I think you're gonna wanna stick around. Let's dive into it. Okay, here we go. Now, this is the Ecamm Live uh, interface, the application running, and I've set it up for this demo, uh, but you would always pre-produce, you'd always pre-plan exactly what different assets you're gonna wanna feed into the stream as, we, as you set it up. So this is a very kind of real world scenario of what you're seeing here. Now, let me tell you about the parts of the screen that you see in front of you right now. Uh, the window that you see my video running in, this is a preview window, and later on this will become a program feed. When we start to actually broadcast out to Facebook or YouTube Live, everything will happen within this window. And it's an interactive window where we can gain access to different assets. And we actually, if we were gonna say, plan or go live to one of these services, Facebook, Periscope, Twitch, or YouTube, we would select it here and we would actually do all of the enrollment and connect our accounts through here, uh, through this window as well. And you see on the right-hand side, access to a few of the different tools. A lot of these tools that we see access to on the right-hand side here are reflected elsewhere in some of these different palettes that we see that we have access to around the, around the video window, including a scene palette, which I'll talk to you more about in a moment, an overlay palette, sound levels, a camera effects, which will allow us to have green screen, should I have that set up, and also comments and reactions. 
one of the really important aspects of live stream is interaction with your community. And it's difficult to, anybody that's done a live stream knows, live stream knows how difficult it is to interact with your audience through a phone screen as you're, you know, reading comments and replying to what people are saying. The comment scene uh, screen here is much more like a chat window that allows you to see exactly the comments that are coming. You can type back to people and you can also respond. This is a really nice, effective way of managing comments, which is a big part of all live streams. Um, I, I wanna start though, as far as the demo itself, talking about the scene window, because this is, I think it's kind of a stroke of genius on how Ecamm handles all of managing all of our different assets to deliver a live stream. So the scene window, just like scenes in a movie or scenes in a TV show, they are each, each time we make a change in our camera or a change in the assets that we're going to distri distribute on screen, yeah, that's going to become a different scene. But we can pre-populate all of these scenes with things like our lower third text, or it can be a video animation that runs as a bumper, or it can be an inserted video that we insert in the, in the stream, or it can be a split screen with a guest on it. We can pre-program all of those different elements here in the scene window so that while we're broadcasting live, all we have to do is use those keyboard shortcuts there on the side uh, to jump from scene to scene. So that's, I've set up some kind of sample scenes for you to see it, and then I'll show you how we compose a scene in a moment. So a scene can compose of uh, you know, a video feed, it can compose of a camera that you're going to be sourcing, it can be composed of text and graphics that you overlay onto the screen, all of those sorts of things. And then beneath that is our overlay screen where we uh, can import any graphics that we've created in other graphic applications. I only have one scene here, which is this fourth scene here that actually has an overlay in it, but I'll show you how we get to that in a moment. So imagine if you will, that we're about to go live with a broadcast. Uh, so I've selected here within my destination that I'm going to be broadcasting, say to YouTube, I've connected my account. I've set a time for the broadcast to start. And now we're counting down to going live the button here where it says record, cause I've got it set up to just record live locally. And actually what I'll do is I'll actually record the rest of this demo right now. So you can see the feed that you would have gotten had you been watching from outside. Uh, from watching it on Facebook or YouTube Live. Well, I'll be able to show you exactly what they see because I'm just recording the this demo live to my computer. I hope that makes sense. But you would start with a, a welcome. So let's just fire up that first scene. I'm just gonna use the keyboard command to go to what I call my single shot here. And there, it, and uh, we've got it running right there. Okay, there we, and there it is. And so now I'm gonna say, hey, welcome to our great show live stream today. I'm Steve Dotto. So glad you could join us. Let me tell you about it. Then I might go to the fourth scene. I just, I have them out of order, which has this nice little graphic on it. You see that? And you notice the camera changed as well. That's part of the magic of Ecamm as well. Now I don't have the cameras color balanced so that they look exactly the same. And I would have done that. I would have gone through a process to do that before I started the, before I started a live stream as much as I could. Uh, but let me show you how that all pulls together. You see with each of these scenes, We've got here, if we take a look on the very top, we've got different sources and we've got the ability to choose our different cameras. So I've got three cameras connected right now to my computer or part of my computer. I've got the EyeSight camera, which is in my display here. And that's a terrible looking camera. Take a look at it. It looks like awful. I've also got my Logitech Brio, which is a high definition camera here, which is the one that I use most of the time. And then I've got my older uh, Logitech C920 camera right here. And you can see that just on the fly, I can select any of these different sources to broadcast out. That is really powerful. That's why we call this a switching app. We're switching from one service to another service in order to broadcast that out. So this setup allows me to do something like what I've done here. Do you see how I've got my graphic on one side over here? Yeah, over here, the graphic here and my head over here now kind of off center as I might be introducing something. I might've added some text here into this gray area here to help introduce the live stream. So you see how we position our, some of our different graphic assets. What about including video, Steve? Ah, I'm glad you asked. I've got two different video playbacks set here. I've got one which is a straight video that I'm gonna insert into it. So say you've got some B-roll or a demonstration or something that you wanna include in your live stream, which is a video that you've stored either locally on your computer or somewhere else. I'm just gonna go there and I'm gonna play that video back by hitting command key two, which is gonna launch the video. Ah, beautiful San Diego. I'm here with my good friend, Emmerich. Hey Emmerich, what are you taking pictures of? 
What do I want? What are you taking a picture of? Let's, you want to... So that was just some video I shot on my iPhone that I inserted into the stream here for you to see. So, but you see how you can incorporate video. Now, sometimes you want to have a picture in picture where you want you talking over top of the video while it's running. So I've got that set in the third scene, which is picture in picture playback. That's what I called it. Let's watch that. I mean, do you feel ageism in your life? And is it self-inflicted or is it coming from here? Isn't that awesome? I'm here picture in picture while the video is running up there. It is awesome. I really get a kick out of doing this. All right, let's go back to our main screen here. So that's how it all pulls together, how we pull all of the different assets in. And I've got a little treat to show you as well. So you can use any webcams as sources. You can use your, obviously your microphone as a source, but we, the, I'm using the beta version of Ecamm Live now. By the time this video goes live, this beta version will probably have everything in the shipping version of Ecamm Live. But I'm reaching up here right now and I'm just going to show you my camera screen again. See, I've got three cameras here. I've got a DSLR way up here, uh, a Canon M50. And look, I turn that on and I can choose the Canon M50. I can choose a DSLR as my source. Oh, uh, where is it? Why hasn't it come up yet? Come on. Oh, there it is. I can choose that as my source. Now, this is amazing. This is using a high quality DSLR and I'm not connected through any sort of HDMI interface. It's connected directly through the USB cable to my Mac mini. So I've got the, the power of having a DSLR as well as my webcam. So I can choose from all of these different cameras as, for, as sources as I'm doing my live stream. So think about what that could mean. You could have a guest here, and so you could have two cameras, one pointing at each of you, and then one camera pointing at both of you. So just like a television show where you do, where you have a two shot with both of you in it and singles with each of the guests, you could set that up and you could deliver that kind of content uh, just using Ecamm Live. Or if you wanna have a guest join you by Skype, we can add them as a source. Now I don't have somebody on a call right now, but if I want to add a Skype guest, all I do is connect to Skype on my computer here, and then the Skype guest will take over half the screen on Ecamm Live as we're streaming out our video. It's really intuitive, really flexible as far as the different ways that we can deliver content. At the end of the day, with a streaming, <laughs> I got Farley doing stuff. I'll give just a minute, let me switch cameras so you can see Farley. Well, you want to say hi to everybody? Come here. Come on, back up. Back up. Back up. There it is. Say hi to everybody. Yeah, there we go. We got the extra guest on of Farley. Good stuff. Okay. Um, at the end of the day, when you are doing a live stream, you want to give the best show that you can. You want to deliver the most value, the most content into the stream to engage your audience. When I stop and think about what we used to have to do in order to deliver a live broadcast on either radio or television back when I was doing TV and radio shows, I am constantly amazed at the level of sophistication that we can deliver using a simple tool, a simple application like Ecamm Live. Now, this is a Mac only product. It starts at about $12 a month for the basic package for delivering this kind of content to your community. If you're in Windows, check our comments below. There's tools like vMix and others that we think do a very good job. Uh, but I gotta tell you, I love using Ecamm Live on the Mac. It makes it, it gets me excited about what I get to deliver whenever I go live with a live stream. And I think if you try it, you will feel the same way. Now, in the spirit of full disclosure, if you click on the links that we are sharing in uh, in our blog post or in the description below, that is an affiliate link for Ecamm. If you choose to purchase it, I am compensated and I appreciate it, but I thought you should know that that's the case as well. I hope you found today's video to be entertaining, useful, and enlightening. Look forward to your comments and suggestions. I read each and every comment here on YouTube, so I encourage you to let me know what you think and what videos you want to see more of. Make sure you've subscribed to Dotto Tech, and until next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.